I was pretty hopeless in school when I was there, and I didn't do that well academically. So I understand that we need to support children who maybe don't feel as though they are academic, when in a lot of cases it's not right. I didn't learn to enjoy learning until I was doing an apprenticeship, and I went to a college where I was in a small class, and I was educated in a way that they understood me and knew what I needed. I went on past that. In my 20s, I ended up going to university and getting a first class degree. Anyone can do it. What we need to do is remove the barriers. So schools need to stop being exam factories. <laughs> what is actually necessary? Is it the basic English, maths, history, geography? And then we need to put in the additional subjects as well. We need rounded individuals who understand everything. We'd also look at starting to educate children about the greater world as well, bringing in education about the environment and climate change, about the outdoors, about different things which they can go on to do in life, that everything is not just, you must pass this exam, you've got to go here, you've got to go there, school, college, university, job, there's a much bigger world out there for everyone. Oh, Our policy would be to get rid of Ofsted, we don't need a central board to do that. <laughs> Academies need to go. Education needs to come from the local authority. We need to bring back into all state schools. There needs to be um, music and the arts brought in so people can get involved in that. We need to ensure that um, children are getting at least half a day outdoor sports and things like that because sports exercise actually increases your ability to understand and be educated more. It makes school fun. So let's stop with what schools have become and training people to try and get exams to get a job to do this let's make sure everyone gets to realize their own abilities Thank you.